Hello everyone, my name is Laz and I'll walk you through a presentation of Privilege Authority, ScriptLogic's privilege management tool that allows you to be very granular when it comes to what you want the users to install on their environments. Now the ultimate goal of the application is to completely eliminate local admin rights and create rules that you can go ahead and use your GPO to target particular end users and allow or elevate privileges. Now since I'm here looking at several GPOs that I want to use, I want to create maybe a basic rule for the Los Angeles GPO or group of users. Once you create a new rule, I'm going to go ahead and give it a title. And for this, I want to use the Adobe Reader. I want to allow, allow my users to install Reader on their machine. So I don't have to worry about it from an administrative standpoint. Once you hit next on here, several different type of options that you can select. For example, a Adobe Acrobat.exe. If you want to select that uh, and put it in here as far as the installation process is concerned, you can simply go ahead and add an asterisk or a wildcard followed by the executable name. All right, so if I want to use acroread.exe, just an example, you can select it. Once this executable is double clicked on on the end user side, and the installation starts, the privileges will be elevated, allowing the user to go in and install it successfully. Now, it's very important here, this section that says apply settings to child processes. So you don't have to worry about any other process that is called upon uh, or any DLL. Once you apply these settings to every child, the successful installation will complete based on this elevation that is performed. You also have ActiveX rules, and certain ActiveX rules pertain to websites that you're currently uh, allowing the user to download from. For this same Adobe.com, anything that is Flash, Reader, Acro Reader, Acrobat, or any other, I want to elevate the ActiveX for this URL. The way the users are not limited and they can perform any kind of updates or install they need to. Also, digital certificate. If you're looking for a publisher such as Microsoft, Adobe, so you're certain that the executable or the file you're working with, it's not security related issue, uh, or maybe it's a file that is not really a Microsoft uh, product, you can go ahead and make sure that the publisher for the EXE, it is indeed Microsoft when you're doing the elevation. Once you perform any every single one of these options, you can go ahead and hit the next uh, button, which will take you into the certain groups and these are the administrators that would be responsible for elevating the privileges within this process or this role. Now you can select the built-in administrators or if I want to browse through my AD structure for domain admins as a way to ensure that I have proper uh, access, I can definitely add that into the rule. From this point forward, well, how granular do you want to be when it comes to certain platforms you're targeting? server, workstation, and certain operating systems. And I want to choose every single one of my workstations out of my environment to apply this rule to. Now, some of these platforms also go hand in hand with the validation logic rules that you have to be as granular as you want in some of these targeting options. So if you want to say, well, I want any kind of user that belongs to the HR department to have this rule applied to them, but not one called A Adams. I can do that based on and or not statements that I have, sort of like a basic script that I can choose from. I'm gonna cho choose B Adams, and this rule says everyone that belongs to the human resources departments, not B Adams. So you can go ahead and leverage validation logic any way you wish. For example, you can look into some of the computer information, IP address range, if you're deploying out certain applications, you can maybe look into the registry settings, maybe for a key or a file that exists. Uh, that way, if it already is in there, you don't want to deploy it on top of it. You can also customize your validation logic to show you that. Once the rule is created, from there, you can it's going to be applied to the Los Angeles OU. One of the interesting portions of the application is some of the community rules that you can share and you can also download. One of the sections here within Privilege Authority allows you to go into the community and download or even import some of the rules that are shared between users. 
For example, you see that several of these rules are rated and verified by Script Logic, so you can go ahead and download it, assuring that this particular rule will work. But if I want to look for maybe a particular or specific installation, I'm looking for Adobe. And I want to make sure that my Adobe Reader is properly installed. And I'm, instead of creating different types of rules, I'm going to look up some of these in my community. That way I avoid anyone or spending too much time on creating the rules. This example here is browsing for Adobe Reader 10 and is calling the Acro Read 32.exe. No problem. I'm going to import it into my environment and some of these settings are already applied for me. Okay. Once I do that, I can go ahead and attach it to any GPO that I want and now the rule is created and attached to one that I specified. Within the application you have several of reporting capabilities that allows you to keep track of activity that's happening. So if you want to see what some of your administrators are doing, what kind of changes they're making onto the PA privilege authority side, you can run several of the reports. As far as the activity is concerned for this environment here, well, the install iTunes rule is currently being applied to a Baldwin on client 7 machine. I have every single one of these details as well as when was the last time that was performed can export any one of these reports to PDF or HTML as well as well what kind of deployed privileges do I have in my environment here I have two rules these are the computers that are using it and the number of times that way if you want to have tracking for utilization on the end user side this report will be uh, providing that information to you and then finally some of the rule configuration I want to know everything that's configured on my environment when it comes to rules and every detail of how the rule was created, such as what kind of admin privileges are needed to create the rule, as well as any validation logic that's attached to it. Right? I'm looking at the Windows XP and Vista machines, and these are the rules attached as well. If you need to go ahead and download or ask any questions on the community within the application you have a way to share rules and get tips on the privilege privilege authority side and this particular website allows you to ask any questions any particular rule that you're using maybe someone has seen or has experience working on a similar scenario go ahead and post any question you like and for the most part our technical support team and the group of systems engineers We'll walk through this and answer any questions throughout the community. This is Privilege Authority, and I'd like to thank everyone for watching this presentation.